Hello again, friends. Welcome back to Max's Cards and Dice Dugout. Hope everyone's doing well. Robert Max here. This is episode number 22. And this time out, we're going to be returning to Stratomatic Baseball for the Old Timer Kings King of the Hill Tournament. This is game number three, which is a rematch of the 1950 World Series, which has the Yankees traveling to Shy Park to take on the current King of the Hill, the Philadelphia Phillies. But before we get to the starting lineups, uh, let's take a look at where we stand with the tournament right now. As you can see, uh, the Phillies are the current King of the Hill. They are in possession of the oldie icon. The Yankees will be taking them on, and the Pirates lay in waiting back at the clubhouse at Forbes Field, waiting to see if they will travel to the Bronx or across state to Philadelphia to take on the Phillies. Now, before we uh, get to the lineups, uh, one other thing, actually two other things. Uh, there was a suggestion in the comments uh, after the previous Stratomatic game that uh, maybe I ought to go to a three-man rotation considering, you know, the limited rosters. We only have 20 players on those uh, on these teams and I thought that was a pretty good idea, so I made a commissioner's decision. I am switching to a three-man rotation, and that'll really help out some of these teams that only have one or two. Well, I think I think all of them have at least two. The teams that don't have three uh, full starters, if you know what I mean. So that'll help them out. The other thing uh, was uh, there were some comments about uh, my mistakes on reading die rolls. And don't get me wrong, I appreciate all these comments because I want to, you know just continue to try to make the channel better. Um, I don't know why that happens, but it does happen from time to time. I'll read the dice wrong. And uh, I was kind of stressing about it, but after some thinking, I thought, you know, just, uh, you know, for lack of a better word, just roll with it because uh, my mistakes are random as well. They don't happen all the time, but they do occasionally happen. Okay, so with all that out of the way, we got the 1950 Yankees traveling to Shy Park to take on the Phillies. Will the Wiz kids get some revenge? Or will the Bronx Bombers send the Phillies down the hill to the bottom? Okay, first off for the visiting Yankees. Leading off, Gene Woodling. He's in left field. Phil Rizzuto at shortstop. He bats second. Yogi Berra, the catcher, bats third. Joe DiMaggio, center field. Cleanup. Johnny Mize at first base, he bats fifth. Billy Johnson is at third base, he bats sixth. Hank Bowers in right field, he's batting seventh. Jerry Coleman at second base bats eighth. And on the mound and batting ninth is Ed Lopat. He was 18 and 8 with a 347 ERA in 1950 with 236 innings pitched. He is a number four hitting pitcher. So we will replace his pitching card with the number four pitcher hitting card. All right, for the home Philadelphia Phillies, leading off, Eddie Wakis at first base. Richie Ashburn, center field, bats second. Dick Sisler, left field, bats third. Del Ennis in right field, bats fourth. Willie Jones at third base is fifth. Granny Hamner, not Hammer. I think I said Hammer 90% of the time last game. I'll probably do it again. But anyway, Granny Hamner is at shortstop. And he bats sixth. Batting seventh is Andy Semenik. He's the catcher. Mike Goliath bats eighth, plays second base. And batting ninth in pitching is Kurt Simmons. In 1950, he was 17 and eight with a 3.38 ERA and 215 innings of work. He's a number one hitting pitcher, so we will replace his pitching card with the number one pitcher hitting card. And we are ready to get underway. Kurt Simmons finishes his warm-up tosses. Gene Woodling steps up to the plate. And here we go. We got a 5-4, and a 5-4 is a ground ball third base X. So right away, we're going to the X chart. And uh, third base for the Yankees is Johnson. He is a 2. So we roll a 5 and that is an out. So he grounds out 5-3 for out number one. That brings up Scooter. And we have a 2-6 and a 2-6. 
is a ground ball to shortstop. 6-3. That's Granny Hamner. Over to Eddie Wakus for out number two. That brings up Yogi Berra. Have a 210. 210. That ball is back deep out of here. Gone. A home run. Bases empty home run. Puts the Yankees on the board. 1 0. And Berra gets an RBI. And Simmons gets one fatigue point. All right, so early on, Yankees are on the board. That brings up Joe DiMaggio. You got a 3 6 and a 3 6. It's a ground ball to third base. 5 3. That's Jones to Wakus for out number three. But the Yankees score one on Yogi Berra's solo home run. And after one half inning of play, the score is Yankees one, and the Phillies coming up to bat. Ed Lopak comes out to the mound, and Kurt Simmons gets a second fatigue point for the inning. All right. Ed Lopak on the mound. Eddie Wake is first up for the Phillies. We've got a 2-8. Two 2-8 eight. Two eight is a ground ball to third base. 5-3. That would be Johnson to Mize for out number one. Whitey Ashburn. Got a 4-7. Four, 4-7. Seven, four, seven. It's a ground ball, second base, X. Second base for the Yankees is Coleman. And he is a 2. And we roll a 6. Second base, 2. And a six, and he's out. So that's a ground out 4-3. For out number two. Brings up Dick Sisler, left fielder. Got a 5-7, and a 5-7 is a ground ball to shortstop X. Hitting the X chart quite a bit early on in this game. We rolled an eight. Shortstop, eight for the Yankees, that is uh, Rizzuto. He's a one. And an eight is an out. So it's Rizzuto over to Mize. 6-3. And the Phillies are retired. 1-2-3 in the bottom of the first. So after one inning of play, it's the Yankees one. And the Phillies nothing. Kurt Simmons comes back out to the mound. First batter he's going to face is Johnny Mize, the first baseman. And we have a 4-11. And a 4-11 is a ground ball to shortstop X. Granny Hamner is a 2. And we roll a 19. And it's a one base error on Hamner. So Mize is on base with an E6. And his stealing is an E. We're not going to send him. That brings up Billy Johnson. Man on first. Nobody out. We have a 6-8. And a 6-8 is a fly ball to center field B. And that's going to hold up Mize at first base. <clears throat> Richie Ashburn's underneath that one for out number one. So there's one away. Mize on first for Hank Bauer. And we have a 3-3. Three, three. And 3-3 three, three is a ground ball to shortstop. A. And that's a double play. 6-4-3. And the inning is over. So after one and a half innings of play... It's the Yankees one and the Phillies nothing. Leading off for the Phillies in, or excuse me, yes, for the Phillies in the bottom of the second is Del Ennis. And we roll a 310, and a 310 is a single. So leadoff single for Del Ennis. And there's a man on first with nobody out. 
That brings up Willie Jones, third baseman. They have a 3-7, and a 3-7 is a single on a 1-13, to 13, and a line out to third base, 14-20. to 20. And he rolls a 3. That's a single with a two-base advance. So Jones singles, and Del Ennis moves to third. So the Phillies have men on the corners with nobody out for Granny Hamner. Uh, Yankees are going to play the infield in. All right, here's Hamner. We have a 6-11, and the 6-11 is a fly ball to left field X. And left field for the Yankees is Gene Woodling. He's a 2, and we roll an 11. And 11 is a single with a two base advance. And the Phillies are on the board. And Hamner signal, single. That sends Jones to third. And his scores. Hamner gets an RBI. And there's still nobody out with men on the corners. Lopak gets his first. Or his second fatigue point. I forgot to mark his for the first inning. That brings up Andy Semenik. This game's tied 1-1. We have a 6-6. 6-6 six, six. Six, six is a single. That's going to score Jones. Sends Hamner to second. And we're going to hold him there. Uh, what is his running? He's a 1-14. We're going to hold them there. There's still nobody out. And uh, it's 2 nothing. And Ed Lopak gets another fatigue point. He's at 3 here in the bottom of the second. All right, so it's Mike Oliott up to bat. We have a 1-8. And a 1-8 is a ground ball third base A. If one or more runners are forced, runner on first is out. Other runners advance one base. So we're going to get a double play here. Uh, Hamner's going to move to third. Semnick's going to be, or Semnick's going to be thrown out, and Goliath, that's for out number two. Goliath will be out number, or excuse me, out number one. Goliath will be out number two. Uh, six, four, three. But Hamner moves to third. That brings up the pitcher, Kurt Simmons, with Granny Hamner on third and two outs. And we got a 2-5, and a 2-5 is a strikeout. That's the first strikeout of the game, and for Lopat. But the Phillies score two runs, and after two innings of play, it's the Phillies two, and the Yankees one. Top of the third inning, first batter for the Yankees would be Jerry Coleman. And that's a 2-5, and a 2-5 strikeout. And that's the first strikeout for Kurt Simmons. And there's one away. It's going to bring up the pitcher, Ed Lopat. We got a 6-6. Six, six. The 6-6 six, six is a ground ball shortstop X. And the shortstop, of course, is Granny Hamner. He is a 2. We rolled an 11. And a shortstop, 11. It's a one-base error. That's uh, Hamner's second error, I believe, in this game. Yes, it is. So that's an E6. And low pats on first base with one out. That takes us back to the top of the order in Gene Woodling. Woodling's 0 for 1. He grounded out in the first. We got a 3-7. A 3-7 is a ground ball to third base B. And uh, that's going to be a fielder's choice. Batter is safe. And low pad is thrown out at second. That's out number 2. And Woodling's safe at first on a fielder's choice. All right. Phil Rizzuto. Got a 2-7. A 2-7 is a ground ball to third base, and that'll be out number three. Whoops, that fielder's choice is in the wrong place. Uh, it should be here. 
And Rizzuto grounds out 5-3 for out number three. Yankees don't score midway through the third. It's the Phillies two and the Yankees one. Kurt, uh, Kurt Simmons gets another endurance point. And let me see if I'm caught up with uh, Lopat. One, two, three, four. He should actually have four. All right. So Ed Lopat comes out. Eddie Wake is top of the order for the Phillies. Got a 6-3, and a 6-3 is a fly ball to right field X. And the right fielder is uh, Hank Bauer. He is a 2. He rolls a 19. And that's a fly out. And there's one away here in the bottom of the third. Brings up Richie Ashburn. He's 0 for 1. We got a 2-4. And a 2-4 is a single. We got a single for Richie Ashburn. So Ashburn's on first with one away. And that brings up Dick Sisler. Got a 6-10. And a 6-10 is a fly ball to center field. B. And Ashburn's going to hold at first base, and that's out number two. Next up, Del Ennis. He singled and scored last inning. we got a 1-2, and a 1-2 is a ground ball back to Ed Lopat. <clears throat> Excuse me, over to Johnny Mice for out number three. So Lopat gets another... Fatigue point. He's at five. And I think I missed one for Simmons, too, didn't I? One, two, three. Yes, he should be at four. All right. So Del Ennis was out number three. Phillies do not score in the bottom of the third. And after three innings, it's the Phillies two. And the Yankees one. Go to the top of the fourth. Leading off of the Yankees, Yogi Berra. He, home run, he homered in the first which is the Yankees' only run. We got a 4-8. A 4-8 is a walk. So Yogi Bear is on first with a leadoff walk in the top of the fourth. That brings up Jolton Joe. And we have a 5-6. And a 5-6 is a double on a 1-3. And it's a 1. And... Uh, Bear is going to hold it third. So now the Yankees are threatening. They got second and third with nobody out. And Johnny Mize coming up. And that's a 1 8. That's a pop out to second base. Runners will hold. <clears throat> Mike Oliott's under that. And there's one away. Still second and third for Billy Johnson. And we got a 5-8. And a 5-8 is a strikeout. That's strikeout number two for Kurt Simmons. And that's also out number two. A big out number two. That brings up Hank Bauer. Second and third, two outs. We've got a 1-6. And a 1-6 is a single. That's going to score a run. At least one run. So Bauer gets a single. Bear is going to score. The game's tied. DiMaggio moves to third. There's two outs. Let's see what DiMaggio's run, running is. It's a 1 to 14. It's a 1 to 16 with two outs. We're going to send him home. 1 to 16. He's safe at home. And it's an 11. Joe DiMaggio scores, and the Yankees are back up on top. So Bauer gets two RBIs, and Simmons two endurance points. So now the Yankees have the lead 3-2. It's two outs for second baseman Jerry Coleman. Got a 2-9, and a 2-9 is a fly ball to center field. That's going to be out number three. A 
Let the Yankees score two runs on Hank Bauer's single. And after three and a half innings of play, it's the Yankees three, the Phillies two. Simmons gets another point, I think. Let's see. He has six. Three, one, two, three, four. Yes. So he's at seven. Low pat. One, two, three, four, five. He's at five. All right, leading off for the Phillies. In the bottom of the fourth is Willie Jones. We got a 4-7, and a 4-7 is a ground ball to second base X. Coleman's the second baseman. He is a 2. Roll an 11. And a 2-11 is an out. So that's going to be a ground out 4-3 for Willie Jones. And that's out number 1. Brings up Granny Hamner. I think I've been saying it right this game. Granny Hamner, he is one for one. And it's a 6-6, six, six, and a 6-6 six, six is a single. He's two for two. So Hamner's on first base with one away for Andy Semenik, catcher. Uh, Semenik also singled his last time up. And he rolls a 2-5, and a 2-5 is a single. On a 1 to 15, and that's a single with a one base advance. So the Phillies have first and second with one out, and Mike Goliot coming up. He grounded into a double play in the second inning, and he rolls a 6 3, and a 6 3 is a fly ball to right field X. That's Hank Bauer, and he is a 2. We roll a 20. And that's an out five. Runner on third scores, other runners hold. So, Goliath flies out for out number two. And the runners hold on first and second. That's going to bring up Kurt Simmons. Kurt Simmons struck out in the second. That's a 4-9. And a 4-9 is a fly ball to left field for out number three. Phillies threaten, but they do not score. And after four innings of play, it's the Yankees three and the Phillies two. Another point for Lopat. That's six for him. Kurt Simmons comes back out. He's at seven. And leading off would be Ed Lopat, pitcher versus pitcher. We have a 2-10, and a 2-10 is a fly ball to center field for out number one. Richie Ashburn has that one, and there's one away. Back to the top of the order, and Gene Woodling. Woodling is 0 for 2. Gets a 3-8, and a 3-8 is a ground ball to shortstop. <clears throat> Excuse me. That'll be Granny Hamner over to Eddie Wakus for out number 2. 6-3. And there's two outs. Brings up Phil Rizzuto. Rizzuto's 0 for 2. We have a 110, and a 110 is a pop out to second base for out number three. So the Yankees go down quietly in the fifth. Lopat gets another endurance point. He's at seven. And after four and a half innings of play, it's the Yankees three, Phillies two. Ed Lopak comes back out. Top of the order for the Phillies here in the bottom of the fifth. And that's Eddie Wakus, first baseman. Got a 3-7, and a 3-7 is a single. So leadoff single for Eddie Wakus. He's on first with nobody out. Richie Ashburn. Ashburn is one for two. He had a single in the third. It's a 5-5, five, five, and a 5-5 five, five is a home run on a 1-10, to 10, a double on an 11-20. And it's a double for Whitey. Yeah, we got to check Wakus's, uh running. 
He's a 1 to 12. We're going to hold him there. So it's first and third with nobody out for Dick Sisler. That's a 6-7. Six, 6-7 seven. Six, seven is a single on a 119 with a one base advance. That's going to score a run. Sisler singles. Scores Wakis. The game is tied. And Ashburn moves to third. Lopak gets his eighth. Endurance point. The game is tied again. And it's still first and third with nobody out. And here's Del Ennis. Yankees are going to start getting uh, some action in their bullpen. Uh, let's see. It's got to be Whitey Ford. Whitey Ford's going to warm up for the Yankees. All right, so first and third, nobody out. Game tied at three for Del Ennis. And that's a 5-9, and a 5-9 is a ground ball to second base C. And runners advance one base. That's going to score a run. I didn't bring the infield in. Mm -mm -mm. That's my bad. So Ashburn scores. Ennis grounds out 4-3. For the first out, Sisler moves to second. Lopat has his ninth endurance point. This is probably going to be his last batter. All right. That brings up Willie Jones. Willie Jones is one for two, single, and a run scored in the second. And we have a 112, and a 112 is a foul out plus injury. Oh, boy. Foul out to two for out number two. Now we have an injury check. And it's a four. Batter is temporarily injured and remains in the game. Well, that's lucky for Jones. So there's two away with Sisler on second and Granny Hamner coming up to bat. Uh, we're going to let Ed, Ed Lopat uh, pitch to Hamner. And that's a 2-6, and a 2-6 is a pop out the shortstop for out number three. Phil Rizzuto has that one. But the Phillies do score two runs. And he gets two RBIs. And now lead this game after five innings, four to three. Uh, Lopat is at 10. He has one endurance point, but he probably, oh, he's not coming back out. All right, so uh, Hamner was the third out. Simmons is coming out for the top of the sixth, and first up for the Yankees is Yogi Berra. He is two for two with a home run and a single, and two runs scored. And we have a 4-10, and a 4-10 is a catcher's card X. I think a lot of X cards in this game. And that's a 12. Uh, let's see. What is Semenik? He's a 1. Catcher's card. 1 on a 12 is a foul out. So Barra fouls out to <clears throat> excuse me, Andy Semenik for out number 1. That brings up Joe DiMaggio. And that's a 1-5, and a 1-5 is a ground ball to shortstop. That's Hamner over to Wakis, 6-3 for out number two. Next up, Johnny Mize. Mize is 0 for 2. And we have a 6-6, six, six, and a 6-6 six, six is a ground ball to shortstop, X. Granny Hamner is a 2. We roll a 16. And that's a ground out. So the Yankees go quietly in the 6th. After 5.5, it's the Phillies 4 and the Yankees 3. And uh, Simmons gets another endurance point. He's at 8.
Okay, Whitey Ford is coming out to pitch. Got that wrong. Sorry about that. And it's Andy Semenik, who will be the leadoff for the Phillies. So, let's see right here. And it's Ford. Pitcher in the sixth, bottom of sixth. All right. Now, Ford is listed as a starter reliever, so he gets seven endurance points before he's fatigued. All right, leading off Andy Semenik. And we have a 6-3, and a 6-3 is a ground ball to first base. <clears throat> Johnny Mice takes that unassisted. Or out number one. Brings up Mike Goliath. Second baseman, he's 0 for 2. Grounded into a double play in the second. Got a 3-4 and a 3-4 is a strikeout. That's the first one for Whitey Ford. And that's out number 2. It's going to bring up Kurt Simmons. Uh, Simmons still has three endurance points, so he's, he's going to stay in the game. And that's a 6-6, six, six, and a 6-6 six, six is a fly ball to right field. <clears throat> Excuse me, Hank Bauer's under that. And that's out number three, and the Phillies go quietly in the sixth. So after six innings of play, it's the Phillies four, and the Yankees three. Kurt Simmons comes back out. He's first batter he's going to face is Billy Johnson. And Johnson is 0 for 2 with a strikeout. And we have a 2-9, and a 2-9 is a fly ball to center field. Ashburn's under that for out number one. Oh, and Whitey Ford does get one endurance point. Okay, Hank Bauer. That's a 2-9, and a 2-9 is a fly ball to center field. Ashburn's under that one. He's busy this inning. And that's out number two. Jerry Coleman. Coleman is 0 for 2 with a strikeout. That's a 4-5 and a 4-5 is a ground ball to second base. <clears throat> that's Mike Goliath over at Eddie Wakis, out number three. And the Yankees go quietly in the seventh. So after six and a half. It's the Phillies four, Yankees three. Whitey Ford's coming back out. This will be his last inning because he'll be batting in the uh, he'll be the leadoff batter in the top of the eighth. All right, bottom of the seventh. Eddie Wake is top of the order for the Phillies, and we get a six eight and a six eight is a fly ball to left field. <clears throat> Excuse me, that's Gene Woodling, and that's out number one. Next up, Richie Ashburn. He's two for three with a run scored. Got a 5-8, and a 5-8 is a strikeout. Number two for Whitey Ford, and it's the second out of the bottom of the seventh. That brings up Dick Sisler. Base is empty, two outs. And that's a 6-6, six, six, and a 6-6 six, six is a fly ball to center field. <clears throat> Joe DiMaggio's got that, and that's out number three. And things have quieted down, but the Phillies do have the lead 4-3 as we go to the top of the eighth. And Whitey Ford is not going to come back out, of course. Uh, so we're going to have a pinch hitter for him. And let's see. Who do we want to bring up? It's going to be Bobby Brown. Not that Bobby Brown. This Bobby Brown. All right. So Brown's going to pinch hit for 
Ford. And that'll be here in the top of the eighth. Kirk, Kurt Simmons is still out there. Oh, I forgot to give Ford his second point. Simmons has three endurance points left here in the eighth inning. Uh, let me double check that. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No, I'm wrong. He has one endurance point left. So, Phillies are going to get somebody warming up. Let's do that now. Um, it's going to be Ken Johnson. Ken Johnson's going to warm up for the Phillies. All right. Because once the pitchers get reach their fatigue point, uh, any X results, and we've been getting a lot of them in this game, they all come from column four. And uh, a lot of the errors are, errors are turned into hits. So, yeah, we don't want that to happen, or the Phillies don't want that to happen. So leading off is Bobby Brown. He's pinch hitting for Whitey Ford. And we got a 5-7, and a 5-7 is a strikeout. And I think that's number three for Kurt Simmons. Whoops. Is that number three? One, two. Yes. Number three for Kurt Simmons for out number one. So Bobby Brown doesn't do the job. Okay, that brings up Gene Woodling with one out. And that's a 410. And a 410 is a catcher's card X. Landy well, Semenik is a one. And that's an eight. And I'm looking at the wrong chart. Catcher's card X. And an eight is a pop out. So we'll say he popped out the Semenik. And that's out number two. Brings up Phil Rizzuto. He's 0 for 3. And that's a 4-8. And a 4-8 is a walk. So a 2-out walk to Rizzuto. For Yogi Berra. Who has homered and has two runs scored in this game. And we have a 4-9. And a 4-9 is a fly ball to right field. <clears throat> Del, Del Ennis is under that for out number three. And the Yankees don't score in the eighth. And after seven and a half innings, it's the Yankees, or excuse me, the Phillies four and the Yankees three. Uh, Simmons reaches his limit, so that's going to be the end of the day for him. Uh, and the new pitcher for... The Yankees are you know, I said Ken Johnson. He was he's a Phillies pitcher. Uh, the new pitcher for the Yankees is going to be uh, Tom Farrick. So so Farrick. All right. So Del Ennis is leading off in the bottom of the eighth. Farrick is the new pitcher. And here we go. We got a 5 4. And a 5 4 is a fly ball to center field. And that's out number one. Mark that wrong. All right. Aye, aye, aye. Okay. One away from Willie Jones. Willie Jones rolls a 311, and a 311 is a ground ball to second base. That's Coleman over to Johnny Mize for out number two. That's going to bring up Granny Hamner. Now, 
I said Ken Johnson before for the Phillies, but I don't know that it's going to be him. Uh, let's see. No, Costanzi's not. Costanti is not available. He pitched last game. Um, yeah, I guess it's going to be Ken Johnson. He's going to come out in the ninth. All right. So there's two away for Gran, Granny Hamner. And Farrah came in in the bottom of the eighth. All right. Two outs, Granny Hamner. That's a 6-12, and that's a fly ball to left field for out number three. So nothing from the Phillies in the eighth. And that's going to bring up the middle of the order. Joe DiMaggio is going to lead off. Kurt Simmons' day is over. And Ken Johnson is the new pitcher. And I need to give Farrick an endurance point. And Ken Johnson is a new pitcher for the Phillies. And he's going to face Joe DiMaggio here in the top of the ninth. All right. So the Phillies are three outs away from getting their revenge on the Yankees. All right, here we go. Joe DiMaggio. That's a 5-8. And a 5-8 is a home run on a 1-3. It's an 8, luckily for the Phillies. And that's a fly ball to right field for out number one. Mm, he, sells De he sends Del Ennis back to the wall, but it just didn't get enough of it. And it's out number one. Brings up Johnny Mize. Mize is 0 for 3. And that's a 3-8. And a 3-8 is a double on a 1-3. to A single on a 4-20. to It's a single. And the Yankees are still alive. So Johnny Mize is on first base with one out. Brings up Billy Johnson. Third base. He's 0 for 3. That's a 6-6, six, six, and a 6-6 six, six is a single on a 1-5 with a one-base advance. But it's a 16, and that's a line-out to third base. Mice holds it second, and that's out number two. Hank Bauer's the last chance for the Yankees. That's a 3-5, and a 3-5 is a strikeout. Ken Johnson gets the third out and the save. Striking out Bauer. His first strikeout. Nothing from the Yankees in the top of the ninth, and the Phillies win this one 4-3 and remain king of the hill. They get their revenge on the 1950 Yankees. Send the Yankees tumbling it down to the bottom. So the Phillies will have... Uh, the Pirates visiting Scheib Park. They'll be traveling across the state of Pennsylvania. That'll be game number four. Uh, let's see if I can get the totals for you really quick. So the Philly or the Yankees had three runs on one, two. Only four hits and no errors. Phillies had four runs on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. eight hits and two errors, both by Granny Hamner. Winning pitcher was Kurt Simmons. Ken Johnson gets the save. And Ed Lopat gets the loss. Does he get the loss? Yes, he does. He gets the loss. And uh, the Phillies remain king of the hill.
and will take on the Pirates, the 1960 Pirates, in Game 4. That's going to do it for this episode. If you hung around this long, I'd like to thank you for your patience, and I appreciate you hanging out. Uh, if you're a subscriber, thanks for subscribing. If you're not, please consider doing so. Please keep the comments coming. I appreciate them. That's going to do it. Until next time, take care.